Hey guys, the Two for Life here, bringing you guys a deck profile. Uh, what well, my friend's gonna be doing it. It's gonna be his first deck profile, so no pressure on him. Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, it's Mr. Hegel with his uh, Giski. Some of you guys are requesting this on that uh, Fluffle versus Giski deck profile, uh, not deck profile duel. So uh, here we go, Hegel, take it off. Hey, I'm Hegel. I'm Christian's friend, and this will be my Giski's profile. Now I like Giski's because they were the first. Ritual deck that I found to be at least halfway decent. Now, let's get started into it. My main boss monster of the deck is Zeogigas. Zeogigas is possibly the most powerful Gishki monster created. Not much more to be really said about it. There could be some debate on that. <laughs> <laughs> I have Gishi Minocus. It's good for refilling the deck if I'm having a bad time. If somebody keeps get, bringing my seal gigas out of the game. You're staring at me. <laughs> Three Gishi Beast. It's good for oh scenarios where I want to go into XCs. Gishki Shadow, good for brings out the Aqua Mirrors, could be used as a tribute. Vision, drop it for a Zeogigas, could be also be used as a tribute. Gishki Abyss, it's usually the first card I bring out in the game to bring it, to bring in either Shadow or Zeogigas. Gishki Ariel. If I'm at a pinch, I could just set her down, she gets flipped over, and I could add any Gishki card, full Gishki monster, into my hand. And that's going to be it for the Gishki monsters. Now let's move on to the remaining support monsters I have. Two Trigodias. Trigodia is just good for the top OTKs, pretty much. I can use in a pinch to to XE with my Zeogigas, and I can also use them to summon a Zeogigas. One, Gores. Gores is pretty much the same reason I have the Trigodias, the top OTKs. Two, Car Troopers. They're good for thinning out my thin out the deck, possibly get uh, Zeogigas in the grave I could bring back next turn if I have an Aqua Mirror in there as well. And uh, that's it for the monsters. Let's move on to the uh, spells and traps I got. Three Aqua Mirrors, the staple. This is the only type of Aqua Mirror, Aqua Mirror I use because most of the other Aqua Mirrors kind of hinder you so in some way. Three salvages, good for bringing back shadows, visions, abyss, pretty much any of my Gishki monsters that is not a ritual that I have my It gets deck. really derpy if you have more than one in your hand. Oh yes it does. I've brought out multiple rituals in one turn using it. MST, I really don't think I need to explain why I run MSTs. Two du dualities, I thought I had three, but I only have two. Dualities are just good if I'm having a bad time drawing. One soul charge. Soul charge is my last case scenario, usually. Because if I have nothing else to go into and I get a soul charge, that's usually what I have to do. I don't believe you can summon back Soul Gigas with that. If I remember right, you, you can't be summoned except by ritual, if I remember right. After you get ritual summoned, you can bring them back. Can you? Yeah. I remember. One dark hole, pretty self-explanatory, and a one book of moon, just the screw of somebody. What I did to you? Yeah, like you did to me. Moving on to my traps, uh, I'm supposed to have, I'll explain it later, I got two breakthrough skills, I'm sure everybody knows what that does, it's good for negating effects. Yeah, this deck is very OTK oriented, it doesn't need very yeah. many traps. And I have one trap stun. I'm supposed to, I need to get another trap stun, but 
I'm buying you a trap stun later. Yeah, but a trap stun basically it just negates all the other traps on the field for a one single turn. Hmm? Alrighty, that's it for my main deck. Now moving on to my extra deck. Gotcha, gotcha. I n usually never use Gachi Gachi unless I absolutely need to because, let's face it, if I have to bring out two level twos, the, sing the XE and two Gachi Gachi, I'm having a bad time. Cowboy, he's a good line of defense if I have nothing else to go into. Burn for game if I need to. Abyss, Abyss is usually my, the first XE I go into. He has a nice graveyard negating effect, and all of my Gishki monsters gain a 500 attack bonus when he's on the field. Roach, I don't really use Roach too, too much, unless I know that somebody's doing a summon I could actually negate, which nowadays isn't really all. Synchros yeah. uh, can't stop it, yeah. sadly. Yeah, you can stop <laughs> Synchros, most Synchros, not all Synchros. Yeah. Marrow Geist. Marrow Geist is for those annoying decks which have graveyard effects. That thing was a lot better with Sangan. Yeah, it was. Sangan was out. Uh, you attack over Sangan. Go back to the deck. You don't get yep. that effect. Good old Honor Arc. Just XE summon it. Just steal somebody's monster from them. They're going to have a bad time. Photon Path. Another uh, XE monster I usually never use unless I'm really in a pinch. Sadly, that card has really died down in popularity. Yeah. It used to be used a lot, no, it's not. Black Ship Corn, it's good if I if there's annoying monster that I can't really get tack over since it can't be destroyed by battle. Just use its effect and boom, gone. <coughs> Another card that's sadly ever used now. <laughs> yeah. He's got to reread his card, guys. <laughs> Ragnar Zero. I'm, I, 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 I just recently acquired this card, so not really. Abs uh, you, He's used borrowing it from me. Yeah. He doesn't okay. know what it Yeah, does. borrowing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's used for, for getting rid of uh, monsters with different attack and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just uh, it's just to get away of get rid of annoyances. <laughs> Utopia. Utopia, uh, Utopia is one I probably will never use. It's just in there in case I absolutely need it. He's got a good amount of attack power and he's well, not yeah. hard to summon, so... Yeah. And then, moving on to the XEs I usually don't use. I got Gauntlet Launcher. Gauntlet Launcher, just to pop a monster. Got a single Strike Bouncer. I wanted to get a second one, but I mean, everybody knows the Strike Bouncer does. Negate an effect. They lose a thousand life points. Swordbreaker, he's a fun one. You just the, you detach an XE material, declare a type, and whenever he battles that type, they're automatically destroyed. Yeah, he can declare a warrior, he kills warriors instantly, declare a dragon, he kills dragons instantly. And two Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, Gustav Max. Probably the one you go into the most of the time. Yeah, the, when I, it, this is to burn for game, or if I ever have an issue with not being able to attack, I'll just XE into it if I have Zilgigas, two Zilgigas or Zilgigas and Trigodia in. It's nice, it has a nice hard burn effect. And, um, and he can still attack that turn, so he can do 5,000 damage yeah. potentially with him. And that's pretty much my deck, guys. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you for taking the time to watch it <laughs> and um, comment rate and subscribe to look for life thank you everybody I uh, hope you enjoyed the video um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments and uh, see you guys later thank Hagel for uh, doing his first ever deck profile he was very nervous <laughs> he still is I can see him shaking <laughs> see you guys later